The representative of Juventus striker Dusan Vlahovic has held talks with Manchester United over a summer transfer, according to Calcio Mercado. The Red Devils recently agreed to sign Chelsea midfielder Mason Mount, and they are currently in talks with Inter Milan for goalkeeper Andre Onana. United are also on the search for a new center forward, and Calcio Mercato report that Vlahovic's agent Darko Ristic has been contact with the club. The Red Devils are yet to express an interest in signing the Serbian, but it is claimed that Juventus won't entertain his departure for less than 90 million euros. Vlahovic was one of the most sought-after strikers during his time at Fiorentina. He netted a stunning 34 Serie A goals in 2021 for the Florence outfit. However, he has struggled to find the same consistency since his move to Turin in January 2022. Vlahovic has just 17 league goals from 42 appearances. The 23-year-old has also had a tough time with niggling injuries. Hence, it is unsurprising that Juventus have not received any formal offers for him. In our view, United should focus on landing Goncalo Ramos over Vlahovic. Ramos was tremendous for Benfica last term, with 27 goals and 12 assists. The Portuguese is a more modern striker than the Serbian. Aside from his goal scoring, he has excelled with his high pressing and likes to win duels. The 21-year-old has also caught the eye with his brilliant hold-up and link-up play. He has the vision to provide key passes on the counterattack. Benfica currently value Ramos at Euro 80 AM. He would represent a better piece of investment. He has a higher ceiling than Vlahovic and could be a world-class striker in future. Inter Milan CEO Beppe Marotta has confirmed they are awaiting an official bid from Manchester United for Andre Onana. David De Gea will no longer be a Man United player after midnight, as his current deal is set to expire. Andre Onana looks to be on top of United's wish list to replace the 32-year-old goalkeeper. Morata has now confirmed that United are interested in signing Onana this summer. He said at the Grand Gala in Rimini, Manchester United have expressed an interest in Onana, which may or may not lead to an offer in the next few days. Once that happens, both Inter and the player will carefully assess it. It is reported that United must bid around 50 euros, 60 million euros to prize the shot stopper away from Inter. De Gea is yet to sign the latest proposal made by United. He will become a free agent, but the club announced they remain in discussions to extend his stay. Even after winning the Premier League Golden Glove Award, De Gea endured an underwhelming season due to his high-profile errors. He is uncomfortable with the ball at his feet and often makes poor decisions with his distribution. Onana is a completely different goalkeeper to De Gea and could revolutionize the style which United are playing under Eric Ten Hag. The 27-year-old is impressive on the ball and has great vision to play incisive passes through the middle. Signing Ederson and Allison contributed massively to the recent success of Manchester City and Liverpool. United should soon come forward with a concrete proposal for Onana so that they can wrap up this deal. Manchester United are interested in signing Porto striker Mehdi Taremi this summer, according to Portuguese publication Jornal de Noticias. The Red Devils are looking to pursue a new striker in the current transfer window, and they have already been linked with several high-profile names. Jornal de Noticias now report that United could be lining up a surprise move for Taremi, who has been on their radar for a significant period of time. It is added that manager Eric Ten Hag appreciates the qualities of the Iran international, who recently turned down a big money move to Al Hilal. Porto are looking for 20 million euros to part ways with the 30 year old. The Iranian striker was in tremendous form for Porto last season, scoring 31 goals and providing 14 assists from 51 appearances in all competitions. Aside from his goal involvements, Taremi completed an impressive 75% of his passes while winning nearly five ground and aerial duels per game. His all-round attributes could be a reason behind Ten Hag's interest. In our opinion, Taremi would be a decent acquisition, but should not be the first-choice striker. He would be a valuable signing as a backup or a second striker, but not as the main man to lead the line. We believe the club should target a marquee marksman such as Goncalo Ramos while also pursuing Taremi, who has the traits to succeed in the Premier League. Taremi would undoubtedly be an upgrade on Woot Weghorst, who struggled to make any sort of impact during his short-term loan deal from Burnley earlier this year.
It is now confirmed that Ethan Laird has made a permanent move from Manchester United to Birmingham City. Manchester United have announced that their youth product Ethan Laird has signed a permanent deal with championship side Birmingham City. Laird, an attacking fullback, was a part of the United youth setup since 2017. The 21-year-old made two appearances for the senior side during the 2019-20 season. The England youth international has had decent spells out on loan which would have helped in his development as a player. He played for Bournemouth, Swansea City, and recently for Queen's Park Rangers temporarily. His career stats read 24 assists in 144 appearances, which is not bad for a right back. He is someone who can bomb up and down the field all game long. At Birmingham City, Laird will team up with now a former United player, Tahith Chong. The Red Devils do have a good relationship with the West Midlands club, as Hannibal Magebury spent last season on loan there and had a good time. Laird should do well in the championship, especially considering his style of play, which is positive and ambitious. He might help them navigate up the table and finish in the playoff places. For United, that's another youngster developed and sold to a club that could suit him perfectly for now. The Red Devils have been slightly hit and miss regarding academy players doing well in the recent past. Moving forward, let's see how much backing will Eric Ten Hag get in the summer window to buy players as per his wish. Mason Mount's arrival is more or less confirmed, but United need more than that to take the next step in the coming season. They are interested in Andre Onana to bolster an important department of the team, the goalkeeper. Getting him would sort a massive headache out for Ten Hag.